In this video, I am going to be talking to homeowners who purchased a home in California that was built in 2020 or 2021 with solar already installed on the rooftop and what happens if you're experiencing a true up. Hi, my name is Jamie Green, the Solar Queen, and on my YouTube channel, I talk about all things solar, all things residential solar, commercial and industrial solar, and how solar energy can help you save money on your energy costs and help our planet in a more renewable and sustainable way. Back in 2018, 2019, there was a new building code that was adopted and was going to be enforced in starting 2020, I believe it was. And it was a residential building code that required for developers and builders to include a solar offset on all new home construction. We started seeing new home developers start you know, getting ahead and installing solar onto new builds and new construction in 2020. But what this has left so many homeowners is a true up. And what is a true up? A true up is a settlement of the account with your utility company. It could be PG&E, it could be SCE, it could be SDG&E. At the three major utility companies in California, when a home gets solar and gets interconnected to the grid, they are now solar powered. And if the solar system that's on the rooftop is not designed to generate all of the homeowner's energy needs for the entire year, the homeowner is gonna be short on their solar energy that was produced for the home. If the solar system was designed to generate 4,000 kilowatt hours for the year, but the homeowner actually used 10,000, they're gonna be left with a true up to cover 6,000 kilowatt hours. Right now, I am seeing kilowatt hour rates range from 25 cents all the way up to 55 cents. It all depends on how you're being billed, whether you're on the tiered system or on the time of use system, and it also depends on which utility you're in. Believe it or not, if you are not solar powered, you might be spending 55 cents a kilowatt hour for peak hours, especially if you're charging your EVs. Those are Rates I have, I didn't think I would ever see this soon, but we're seeing them now. So if you're left with a 6,000 kilowatt hour true up, even at 25 cents a kilowatt hour, that's a $1,500 true up. And I know for a fact, you're not gonna pay just 25 cents a kilowatt hour. But what that means for the homeowners who bought a new home, new construction with an existing solar system that wasn't really truly sized for what your home actually consumes and needs, 6,000 kilowatt hours at 25 cents and $1,500 true up, that's a lot of money. So this is just a video that I wanna share with you as a homeowner. You're frustrated, that $1,500 uh, true up might turn into a $2,000 true up that then turns into a $2,500 true up. I'm actually talking with a homeowner right now who bought a home 10 years ago. It did have a solar system on it, but it's a 10 year old solar system. And back then, 10 year old solar systems weren't, the goal wasn't to offset the entire usage of the home, it was to tear shave. So be, stay in tier one and get rid of tier two, tier three, and tier four. If you remember looking at bills back then, that's how we were all being billed for our energy. The, solar, the goal of the solar back then was to get rid of the tier two and higher charges and only leave you for the tier one. But as tier one rates continued to climb, it surpassed what the solar system could generate for the home and stay in that affordable electricity payment for what you would buy from the utility. So this homeowner, when he moved in, he had that $1,500 true up, and then it turned into a $2,500 true up, and then a three, and then a four, and then a five, and this year, 10 years later, he is facing a $6,000 true up. And so now he's thinking about adding a second solar system to his home. And that's what I wanna say to you guys as a homeowner in California that bought a house in 2021, 2022 even, to one, budget for your true up, because you will likely have a true up. And even if it's a little one, you should be able to go into your utility portal uh, online and you should be able to see where you're at in your true up. 
you should be able to see when is the next true up event and where you stand in how much solar is being produced and how much you're getting from buying from the grid and then put away money every single month if you see that you have a true up then that way you're not like shell shocked or surprised when that true up event comes to pass and you have to pay the true up and you're like ah I didn't really budget $3,000 or in the homeowner that I'm helping right now in his case $6,000 that's a lot of money and that's more money than people would solar would like to pay for their true up so make sure you stock away some money in a savings account for your true up until you're ready to add a second system onto your rooftop and that's really what I want to get into now so if you have a home that maybe has an older system installed and you're experiencing the true up or you bought a new home that has that solar requirement and you're experiencing a true up this is when you actually if it's over a thousand dollars true up to fifteen hundred dollar true up that's when you probably want to think and consider adding a second solar system especially now with the tax credit having increased back up to 30 percent it used to be 26 percent but now it's going to be 30 percent for the next 10 years so that's good but what's happening is the utility rates continue to rise and so it's creating this urgency for homeowners and homeowners with true ups to consider getting a second solar system or your initial system if you don't have solar yet. This is just warning to those that don't have the solar system yet, get enough solar. If there's one thing people regret, it's that they didn't get enough solar to begin with. So make sure that you get enough solar and one way that you'll know if you're gonna get enough solar is to contact me. Go to my website, www.jamiegreenthesolarqueen.com. Set up, fill out the forms and let's set up a time to meet either over phone or on Zoom and we can go over your energy consumption, your true up event. We can go through all those things and we can see what it would look like to get solar for your home and wipe out your need for the utility company to provide electricity to you at their ex crazy expensive rates. So going back to those second installations or the primary installations, get enough solar. Even when you're going to get a second system added onto your home, do as much as you can within um, you know, 110% offset, at least 115 if you can, or even 120% off of what you use during your true up. So if your true up was, you know, um, let's see, 5,000 kilowatt hours and you wanted to get 115%, you would want a solar system to generate at least 5,750 kilowatt hours. And then we run into the, we run into a couple of things. Do you have enough roof space? Does the builder have a warranty on the roof and won't let you go add solar because it will void the warranty? What's the risk reward there for you as a homeowner? Are you willing to forego the roof warranty from the builder to add on a second system so that you wipe out the true up or the electricity bill that you're stuck with because that builder only put eight panels on your rooftop? These are things you're gonna have to really ask yourself and decide if that's what you wanna do. The only thing I would say that might be a limitation is if you have enough roof space. And if that's the case, I still would max out your roof if you have a small roof space because builders are trying to fit as many homes into a, you know, a plot of land that they've purchased and are developing and the lots are really small, the houses are really small and stacked up and the roofs are limited in space these are limitations and we won't know until we get in and take a look. So the only way to really eliminate this true up is to add more solar because that true up is only going to get more and more expensive as time goes on. So I wanna help you if you are a California homeowner who bought a home that already had an existing system on it. Uh, if you have more roof space, we can add to it. If you are in an older home that was built in prior to 2000, we may have to take a look at your main service panel, see what it's rated for, see what the max amount of solar panels that can go onto that rooftop. 
if it's uh, too low of a service line, so say a 100 amp service panel with a 100 amp max bus bar, we may have to upgrade that service panel to be able to accommodate a larger solar system and take the back feed of the inverters. If that's the case, we can always roll that into the solar project. My goal for you guys is to eliminate those expensive true up bills. I really wish that these builders and developers would actually try and calculate as much solar as they can put on the roof and still make their projects be profitable, but it's a huge disservice to new homeowners that are buying these new builds that don't have enough solar. They're excited because they're getting a home with solar, but they're not likely not gonna have enough solar panels to meet their home's needs. So I hope that this video is helpful to you if you've bought a house with an existing system on it, whether it's new or old, and if you are interested in wanting to add more solar or see what that would look like, please, please reach out to me. I want to help you eliminate the amount of money that you pay to the utility companies, especially if your house already has solar panels on it. They're working for you. The solar panels are working for you and believe it or not, they're saving you money, but there's more money to be saved when you add more solar onto the rooftop. And especially thanks to the help of the ITC increasing to 30%. So please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments and questions down below and I will address them or answer them. And if you're serious about seeing about eliminating your true up, make sure you reach out to me. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.